What's up, everybody? It's Grim, and I am here with my beautiful wife, Tina, and my best buddy, Tony Cheney. Bet y'all didn't know Cheney was going to be here. What's up, guys? Surprise! I still have my hair. It's just in a little uh, thing here. <laughs> yeah, we, I, when he walked up, I said, oh, my God, Jeannie, did you cut all your hair off? Yeah. <laughs> he was like, oh, no, I was just tied up. Yeah. All right, so what's up, everybody? It's Grim. Thank you so much for being here. Please hit that like button. That is the most important thing you guys could do to support the channel. It's this button. Right. The like. And you can not just tap it. You could elbow drop it. You could leg drop it. Suplex it even. But what it does is it gives us support, and it's free for you to do, and it helps us keep going. Nothing else is free in this world, so you might as well take advantage of something that's free. You want something for free? Hit the like button. That's it's it? free. So, yes, we're going to talk. What's up, Claps? We're going to talk about SmackDown. We're going to talk about GTS. We want to talk to you guys and find out if you're enjoying GTS right now, what you're enjoying about GTS, what you don't like about GTS, Jimmy Controversy, <laughs> and how we can improve to make Grimmamania the greatest Grimmamania in the history of our sport. So, are you guys ready to talk about it today? I'm ready to talk about it today. Let's hear what you got to say. <laughs> so, thank you for acknowledging the fact that I lost a lot of weight. I appreciate that. I, li I like hearing that. Yeah. I, I kind of like well, the attention. you worked hard for it, so you might as well, man. Yeah. <laughs> so good. EWE really wants to be noticed. Hi, EWE. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we just got our on, first. Guys? <laughs> we just got our first hey, comment, and it said, "I hate NJ Knight." <laughs> Why do you hate NJ Knight? It's NJ Knight. No, no. I think it's great. Part. It's fun. I think it's fun. Oh, I mark. I I was marking out hard the, when I saw it the first time at the. Uh, what was it? When when I think it was when we did that. Uh, no, it was d during the uh, Regal Rumble actually. When the first yeah. time I saw it, and he just over and over again. Like I I I said it was like you're, if you're spamming WW2K and you're just spamming the same move over and over and over again in the middle of the ring, and it does the animation, and he did it every time. It was awesome. Thank you, Scooter. I love how you helped me and so many others. Thank you. Scooter. Scooter. Now, Scooter is the guy that I'm uh, doing personal training for. He's one of my clients. He's the guy that I'm getting in shape. And guess what? He's down more pounds. I think he, I, right, didn't you tell me you were just down eight pounds? Good That's job, awesome. Scooter. Good job, yeah. Scooter. Look, I start clapping and knock on the table. <laughs> and we just got another super chat from Chef Man. Ooh, what did Chef I Man. And he said, what happened to Slender Man from old GTS? Well, if you've seen the Regal Rumble, Slender Man was in it. Oh, yeah. Slender Man right? was in the Regal Rumble, yeah. Yeah, he was. Yeah. Slender Man came in the Regal Rumble, but guess who took him out? This guy. The Grimster. The Grimster. Who else? <laughs> who else? Because I, I should have won that. That should have been my, my victory. And I really thought that you guys were really hyped to see Grim win that Regal Rumble. And, and then I seen the comments. No, they're actually more hyped to see Peter Kid. Yeah, they, they kind of Roman Reigns deal a little bit. A little bit. Yeah. Yes, we're at this house because my other house is haunted. That's something we really don't want to get into. Yeah, we're taking uh, a break from that. Yeah. Check it out on the other channel. They didn't tell me about that. On Grim Experience. Well, that's why you're here. We're going to update you on Although things day. things yeah. have been happening here, but I blame... Here? You know. It, it well, hasn't been as bad. It's probably Memphis. <laughs> yeah, what... What do you think about that? Because no, he's not at our house. He doesn't come to our house. He showed me Zenith earlier. It's Zenith! <laughs> Zenith, it's a machine. <laughs> Damn it, Chidi. Okay, so somebody says, stop putting yourself over Grim. Thank you, Backyard Street. So let's talk about that for a second, shall we? Grim putting himself over. I lost the Regal Rumble. I lost my match at the live event. Where am I putting myself over? Scooter says he started at 290, now he's 262. What could I say except you're welcome? That's pretty awesome. And, no, honestly, dude. Keep up the good work. Keep up the good work. And yes, I can lead you there, but you got to do the work. And Scooter's doing the work. So congrats to you, Scooter, for putting in the work. Keep it up. Keep it man. up. Keep it up. Never we stop. Got a, we got another super chat here. Okay, question. Stay hydrated. Why will we ever see Tina in the ring? Maybe have a future title run. Listen, Tina's been in the ring. Tina's had championships. Okay? And what we learned is that when Tina gets in the ring, her ass is on the line, literally. And her ass is her moneymaker on the wrong platform. So we don't want to risk the ass in a wrestling match 
because the ass needs to be taking a pounding on another platform. Listen, I tried to get insurance for it, but they... <laughs> Too big for the so J-Lo had her ass insured, if you guys remember. Yeah. I didn't know that. I'm still yeah. applying. If you guys find a place where I can insure it. Right. And what happened, okay, so Jennifer Lopez, for real, got her ass insured. Because she's like, that's my moneymaker. I make money with my ass. And then guess what happened? Her ass changed. So she tried to cash it in. And they're like, well, nothing actually happened to your ass, except you got older. And she's like, well, yeah, that's the problem. I need my insurance money. That's why. So you can't insure an ass anymore. Well, mm -hmm. what if like, so hard now. what if like she claimed that she fell or something you know, <laughs> on stage or, you know, maybe. Hi, Graham. I hope you get your championship back. Now, see, this is the problem that we have is I feel like there's a split in our audience. 70, 30, 70% 70 want to see Grim win. They want to see Grim as the champ. They absolutely love it. And there's 30% of you that hate my friggin' guts, want to see me lose and don't ever want to see me with a belt and think I should just go away. It's my channel. I think a lot of times fans don't grasp the fact that, like, it's not like this is AEW where Tony Khan runs it for all his wrestlers or Triple H runs it for all his wrestlers. Like, no, this is, like, me as a wrestler and who am I going to fight? And while I'm having my feud against whoever, there's also other things happening, too. And I'm happy to shine a spotlight on them. And I don't always want to be in that top spot, honestly. You've been the, the YouTube champ. I've been the YouTube champ. It comes with massive responsibility. Yes, sir. It's exhausting to be the champ, okay? I have a knee injury. I have bad shoulders, okay? And now I have a bicep injury, okay? Mm -hmm. So for me to have the Ultimo title, that's a lot of work. It's exhausting. And honestly, right now, I don't have it. And P the Kid's got all the pressure. So the kid can't handle that. He can't. And why do you think we don't see him? That's why, yeah, that's exactly. He's been hiding for how long? Where? Right. Doing what? And, and how does that not upset you guys? I guess in the gym, at least. Right? Know. Like, how does that not upset you guys when the champion's not here? When I'm the champ, I'm always here. I'm used to it. I'm in every episode. Because the WWE television's giving it to them because they got Roman Reigns not showing up all the time, and now they're getting used to just, oh, well, the champ shows up eh, sometimes. The champ is special. The champ is not always around. The champ shows up randomly once in a while. Like, Peter Kid put on Twitter the other day that we're not going to see him until Grimmamania? What? What? No, 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 no. Peter better pull up. Or you know what's going to happen? I have the power. To have a tournament. We could just strip him and have a tournament instead. Or we could put him in a match against The Undertaker. <laughs> no. Our Undertaker. Slender Man. <laughs> yes. <gasps> oh, my yes. God. All right, guys. Peter Kid versus Slender Man. Let me know. Let's Wise in the chat. Do you want to see Peta Kid versus Slender? Wise in the chat. Yes, Do please. Oh, I would love that. That'd, That'd be actually great. be a banger. I think so, honestly. <laughs> there it Let's is, wise it. in the chat. Let's uh, see it. Oh, yeah, so, that's a lot of wise. So imagine <laughs> if Slender won the Ultimo title from Peter Kid before Grimmamania, and then it's Grim versus Slender versus Eris versus Vince Series, and Peter Kid, he can work the Battle Royal. <laughs> if he shows up. If he shows up. <laughs> Slender Man is not Tony Cheney. Tony Cheney's right here. <laughs> What? They still, they're still on that? They think you're Slender Man. They think Jungle Jim is the unsubscriber. But meanwhile, you fought Slender Man. Yeah. Jungle Jim has fought the unsubscriber. I fought Slender Man several times, actually. Right. Yeah. I've been in the same room, same vicinity, filmed in the same place as Slender Man. Multiple times. Multiple times. So I don't know where that's coming from. So we got a comment here from Bader, and he says, give Rad Dad a shot with the Ultimo title. All right, well, here's the thing about that. He's the double crown workhorse champ or whatever he's calling it. He's got the Intercontinental title and the U.S. title. And if he wants to come for the Ultimo title, I have a feeling that's going to be happening soon. Could you imagine his ass coming for us? I mean, we were just talking about how much pressure it is to be the Ultimo champion. So I yeah. could only imagine how much pressure it would be to be like the triple crown Ultimo <laughs> Workhorse, undisputed United States Intercontinental, well, I ninety five, whatever champion, <laughs> you know what I mean. But you know, I mean, he'll probably start losing his hair. I mean, he's already a he's stepdad. <laughs> if you remember correctly, the Ultimo title is literally that. It's literally the unification of every championship we've ever had on this show. 
So why? So it's redundant that he even has the other ones. Right. And then what we did was then we had tournaments, because everybody loves tournaments, for the other two titles. We brought them back. But why is in the chat for tournament? You guys want to see a tournament? Why in the chat? How about Kurt Ball? Who remembers Kurt Ball? Kurt Ball? <laughs> it says right there, Kurt Ball. I think he meant Bell. Kurt Ball. <laughs> Kurt Ball. <laughs> We need somebody named Kurt Ball now. We do. Curtis Ball. At, no, I think at GTS Grimmamania, we need to have the debut of Kurt Bale. Like, he should come back, but it's Kurt with a C, and it's B-A-I-L. <laughs> it's just a completely different person. <laughs> Kurt Bale is here! Repackage NJ Knight. Knight. Into Kurt Bale. Kurt Ball. Kurt Ball. <laughs> <laughs> Kurt Ball, do get me. <laughs> Why is in the chat for Kurt Ball? Why is in the chat if you want to see Kurt Ball make his debut? <laughs> I love misspellings. Misspellings make my life. Okay, so <laughs> let me check my notes here. Oh, that's always so good. The Ys are still coming in. <laughs> it's because they want to see Kurt Ball debut yeah. at Grimania. Yeah, so good. listen, at, at the live show, right, you and Masty, like, finish that match, you... Clocked him in the head with a crutch. I did. Now, and then he wanted to complain about it on Twitter. After, I'd, I'd say we're even if you guys want. I mean, all right, I'm going to say this right off the bat. I'm just going to say this. Honesty, realism, all of you guys know the, the injury was a complete, total accident. Okay? He did not mean to hurt Fran. Now, this is my problem. I believe that. Now, this is the thing. Now, people are, oh, well, if it was an accident, why are you mad? This is the thing. You handle things professionally afterwards. If he had came over, said sorry afterwards, apologized, maybe contacted us the next day, tried to be cool about it, then none of this would be happening. Right. But the fact that he wants to brag about it online and yet not contact and ask and not be cool about it, and yet now something has to be done. Right. So if you want to complain about being the victim, you know what I mean? Well, I'd say we're even. And it just so happens that because of that, Team GTS just so happened to win the Survivor Series. So you're welcome. With my solid steel crutch to the skull. Actually, right. it was Fran's solid steel crutch that I borrowed from her for my match. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So thank you, Fran, for both of us. Yeah, and thank you, Fran, for bringing a crutch. Otherwise, I don't know what I would have done. My knee was shot. Like, I thought... How that, are you feeling now? It, it's okay. It's not great. I could walk. No. I can't really run or jump or climb to the top rope. But <clears throat> uh, I will be ready for Grimmamania if I can... Stay out of the ring and stay off of it. And oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, so we got Man the Man. Bring back Grey Wolf Raventhorn to deal with Vince. Now, I know I really haven't been around as consistently, but, you know, Grimmamania is coming around the corner. Right. And, you know, I mean, I've been in some pretty big spots in Grimmania before. You know, it's a pretty big time for me, a lot of good memories. You know, I'd, I'd love to be back. I mean, I don't know if you have anything specifically going on. I don't know if you have a little something you can throw me in, a little something there. Well, Wait a minute, hold on. Is is this is this serious? Masty is trying to call into the show. What? Is this Uncle Masty? Yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, what's going on? Well, we were we were here live on YouTube talking to our audience, a State of the Union address, and I'm here with Teeny. I hear Tony, I hear Tony Salami over there running his mouth. Tony Zamboni. Tony Zamboni, yeah. Okay. Tony Cheney. All you got his names, pal. All you got his names. How's your head doing? You still got a golf ball on the side of your head? Uh, Tony Cheaty, you know, hold on here. Hold on. Some of us, some of us are actually busy on the way to professional wrestling shows. Hey, we're I'm booked later. Gas here, mm. brother. We're booked tonight. Okay, I'm booked right now. Oh, yeah. Here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good, good for you, pal. Yeah. That's all right. I don't got to break my back every time I get booked. Or in your case, your head. How's your head doing there, pal? Uh, you know, my head's fine, buddy. But you're you see, you see how you see how I asked how you're doing. You see how I asked how you're doing? Yeah, that's yeah, something you probably you should have care. done. That's the thing. I don't care. Mm. You know, the, the two of you guys getting hurt, one, both, any, that's a good start. But, you know, cheating. Nasty cheating, on the phone. I mean, cheating. Come on now. I thought that was beneath you, Tony. I, I thought mean, you were some great champion there at GTS. I didn't realize you'd need a crutch. Hey, you, you know what? Nasty. You know, I didn't need the crutch, but you know what? It did. It, it, it afforded me the victory, and I'll say that. I'm not going to hide the fact that I did use a crutch to win that match, but I did win the match. Hold on one second, both of you. Okay, so guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for being here. Right now, Uncle Masty is on the phone, and he's talking to Tony Cheney. This is 
what happened at the live show two weeks ago, Uncle Nasty and Cheney were the last two for Team GTS and Team Venom. And Cheney took out Nasty with a solid steel crutch to the face and there won. There was rebar in the middle of that crutch. I One, saw two, it three. afterwards. Yeah, you know, yep. got to do what you got to do sometimes, pal. If you would handle things the nice way, then we could have had a professional wrestling oh, match. But Listen, there's plenty of handling still to happen, Tony. Oh. We are not done. Oh. Because, well, listen, it's handling still, still to happen. You, you never even gave me an opportunity to defend myself. You sucker punched me from behind like a coward. Oh, Whoa. you want an opportunity. Number one, if it was from behind, then I wouldn't have seen your stupid eyes roll in the back of your head when I hit you with the crutch. All right? Yeah, you, you had to have your little sister stand on the apron and distract me, and then that worthless dirt sheet peddling Jay Aletto, you know, keeping me from seeing what you were doing. Listen, this is a whole bunch of shenanigans, and I should have expected nothing less from GTS. You're not professionals like we are at Pro Wrestling Venom. <laughs> yep, 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 yep. Like, I haven't heard it all before. I, I don't, you know what? Enough talk. You, you want, you want me? One on one, fair and square. Masty, I was listen, literally Masty's huge, before before Masty. But, but hold on, hold on one second, Masty. Before you even called, I was literally just talking to Grim about maybe a spot on Grimmania this year if he had it open. And I'm gonna lay out the challenge right now. If you really think that it was a fluke at that Survivor Series match, why don't you show up at Grimmania with your hands taped for a street fight? My hands taped and bells on my feet, my friend. I will be there to knock your noodles straight in the dirt. What do Whoa. you think, Grim? Make it official right now. I'll be here, Grimmania. Right. Make it official right now. All right. Well, listen. Right now, let's let's take it to the fans. We're here to talk to our audience. We're here to listen to the audience. Guys, thank you so much for being here. Put wise in the chat. Do you want to see Tony Cheney versus Uncle Masty at Grimmania? Put the Ys in the chat. Well, here they all come. Put the Ys in the chat. I see Tony Cheney, Cheney mega, mega fan. fan. <laughs> he wants it. Of course Yo, he all does. Right, so, Masty, there's a Tony Cheney mega fan in the chat right now, and they're spamming Ys in the chat. They want to see Masty versus Tony Cheney at Grimmamania on the biggest stage of YouTube in the history of our sport. And it's funny because I don't see anybody that says toothless idiot mega fan. So, I, I guess that uh, the Ys count in my favor here today. Are they? What was that, Masty? I said, I guess no one's rooting for Franny then, are we? Oh! oh okay. okay, yeah, you know, you want to just keep going back to Fran, keep like going back to Fran? She's done dipping around, you know. She can hang out. I'll kick it to her. Oh, okay. Okay, well, you know what? Don't worry about Fran because at Grimania, it's just me and you face to face. As long oh, as you, I'm, as long I'm as you really accept sure. the challenge because I'm, I haven't, I'm I haven't heard you accept my challenge yet. I, I told you, I'll be there with bells on, fist tape. Bring everything you got, pal. I don't need pinfalls or submissions. I'm going to take your hat off. Why don't you show up right now? You know where I'm at. <laughs> you show up right now. We can do Grimmamania early. How's that? Listen, we're doing a live oh, stream. Yeah. Genie, save it, it for Grimmamania. <laughs> for another four hours for me to get there and kick your ass, I'll be happy to do so. But I'm pretty sure there'd be a whole promotion full of very sad people that want to see some wrestling tonight. So let's make everybody wait. Let's make them all wait for Grimmamania. All right, so listen, I'm going to make it official right now. Right here, live, in front of the audience, in front of you, in front of my wife, in front of everybody watching, all 406 people who are smashing that like button and dropping the Ys in the chat because they want to see it. it baby. Tony Cheney. Versus Uncle Masty, Grimmamania Street Fight. It's official. Let's That's, go. That means anything goes. You want to complain about Steel Rod? You want to complain about this and that? Why don't you bring your own stuff? I got a head too. You can hit me as hard as you want. Let's go, pal. Come on. You got it, my friend. Uncle Masty's coming down the mountain, baby, and you're going to get smashed. Down the mountain is exactly where you're going. That's he right. Just, you see that? He hung up. He just Because hung he's up. scared. He's scared of Tony Cheney. He's scared of the pepperoni power. The pepperoni power is bigger than ever, guys. I don't know if you guys have known, what but I've been hitting know? the gym just myself. Hell okay? yeah. The pepperoni power is bigger than ever, and they're ready for Uncle Masty. I don't care who the hell you think you are. You messed with my fiance, that means you messed with me. You want to make things even? Let's make them even at Grimmamania. This is going to be huge, you guys. And thank you all for being here, because this is what the whole purpose of this live stream is, is to listen to our audience, and you guys said it loud and clear. You want to see Cheney and Masty at Grimmamania, and guess what? 
So do I. I'm looking forward to that because that's going to be a fight. This big dude, big dude, hoss fight, street fight, no rules. No rules. No rules. No mm -hmm. rules. That means anything goes. I don't know if you remember the last time at Grimma Mania when I faced Onslaught in a similar match, but I took him to the limit. Yeah. I took him to the limit. I took myself to the limit. And I told you, I screamed it right in your face. I said, don't you ever question my unity to this brand ever again. Right. And, and I did whatever it. it took to win that Survivor Series match, right? Mm -hmm. And who won? Team GTS. God Not just right. Tony Cheney, Team GTS won. He won it for Team GTS. That's right. And at Grimmamania, I'm doing it again for GTS. Thank you, dude. Now listen, I'm hype, okay? But we need to talk about something. The landscape of pro wrestling has gotten really sensitive lately. Sorry, I gotta calm down here. Yeah, okay? Last week on Twitter, there was a video circulating of the crowd saying, you suck to Maxine Dupree. Okay, what'd you guys all think of that? Why won't this stand up? I said probably because I keep hitting the table. Tony keeps bashing I'm sorry, the table. I'm, I'm very okay. heated right now. It's, a, it's, it's walking. Whoa, it's, it's literally walking. walking. It's Whoa. Wait, is the ghost oh doing this? Oh my god! Oh god, you said the ghost wait, wait, was here, man. Wait, I need to film that. I need to film that. What it's, is going on here? I'm trying Dude, to set up the tripod. It's just walking legit. away on its that own. Was legit. Guys, I'm, was I'm not even joking moved. with you. I just say it literally moved by itself. It was walking, like animated walking. It like, started animatedly walking. You see, like, none of us were even holding it. It just started no, walking. Like, it's not like it was just like teetering. Like, no, I mean, so like, the, the legs were walking. Like, this is the stuff that we've been dealing with on our other channel, Grim Experience, okay? Why did you tell me to come here today? Did you did you know this Listen, was going to happen? First did of you all, know Masty was going to call? No. First of all, he's probably watching the live stream just like everybody else is, okay? He saw you talking the crap and decided to call me. He's got my number, crap, obviously. I'm a booker. Facts. I'm just talking Listen, facts. But now we got this crazy stuff happening. Usually this ghost crap doesn't happen during the day. It usually happens at night, Okay. And it usually happens at my other house. It's only recently started here since this one's been around, doing spooky things. I don't want to get into it. it's attached to her? No. I don't want to talk about it. We talked about it on my other channel, Grim Experience. Does she do like the witchy cards? You've done with all that stuff. Yeah, the carrots. Dude. I don't want to talk about it. Listen, we have to talk about something you said in your promo. It's really important. Guys, thanks for being here. Maxine Dupree. They yelled, you suck at her. And Twitter was pissed. And they said, how dare you yell, you suck at a wrestler. That's so mean. She's learning and she's new. And no, I feel like we should expect greatness from those people on TV. But what do I know? I've only been watching wrestling for 30 years. The thing about what Tony Cheney said is this wrestling industry, the wrestling fans right now are becoming very sensitive to things, okay? And right here live, you yelled out something insensitive. Just like when Roman Reigns last night called Seth Rollins a crossdresser, and now people are pissed. You called Masty a toothless idiot. Do you have any idea how insensitive that is to people out there who don't have teeth? Is there any toothless idiots out there that were offended by what Tony Cheney said? Why is in the chat? Why is in the chat if you were offended by Tony Cheney saying a toothless idiot? Oh, wait, there's no whys in the chat. You yeah. want to know why? Because this is pro wrestling and this is trash talk and Uncle Masty is a toothless idiot. Yeah. Okay? And, you know, and I've feuded with Cheney before. I've called him names. He's called me names. I get called fat. I get called loser. I get called useless. I get attacked for putting myself over. I get attacked for I don't know how to be creative. Do you know people have said to me, I don't have a creative bone in my body? I've only run a successful YouTube channel for 11 years now. But I don't have a creative bone in my body, bro. Yeah. Well, you know what? People like me and Grim here, we use that kind of talk as motivation. I used to be called Spaghetti Arm. I hit the gym. I gained 20, 30 pounds. This man, he gets called fat. He hits the gym. He loses 100 pounds. That's how it works. You know, and, and, and That's talking... That's how we do it. Right, and talking trash to me, it's never nice. It's never nice. It, it, and I, I'm not going to sit here and condone it and say it's the right thing to do. But, but sometimes you have to have tough love. Sometimes you have to say, man, you're messing up and you need to do better. And if we accept mediocrity, yeah. then we're out of nothing. Nobody's ever going to be great if you accept mediocrity. And sorry, Maxine, we didn't want to accept mediocrity. You should be good if you're going to wrestle on WWE. Yeah. I don't think, if I'm going to pay money to come watch people wrestle, I want them to be good at it. Absolutely. And if they're not good at it, I'm going to tell them about it. Especially <laughs> if you're paying as much money as those people probably did for the tickets they have. Right.
All right, so Think so Dro that. Dro said it. Grim, answer me. Answer that was me. What? I moved it. That was me. That wasn't the ghost moving it. Okay, so guys, I'm paranoid now. Right, going forward, Pete went after what? Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Pete Corvus was mocking me when we were feuding about my divorce and saying, you know, I, I hear that all the time. No wonder your wife left you. I hear that all the time. Man, the man. He should be called Uncle Pasty. I like that. <laughs> Uncle Pasty. I like calling him Uncle Krusty. Uncle Krusty underwear. <laughs> Uncle Musty. What he should have been Musty. using was Uncle Toothpasty. <laughs> I called him. All right, so that mo that mofo, he hit me with a lariat, like, I think twice now. Once in a match, because I did wrestle him in a match, and then during the Regal Rumble. Two times now I've taken a lariat from that dude. Bro, knock me out of my shoes. I was about to say, as much crap as I talk, it looks devastating. Yeah. As I was going to say, we could talk trash about him, but the fact of the matter is, the guy's like, what, 6'5", 300, 400 pounds? I don't I'm, know. I'm he's not taking huge. anything away from his ability. Yeah. I'm not taking anything away from the fact that he's been around this business for a long time. He runs his own company. He does his own thing. He has his own success. And you know what? I'm happy for him, but I'm not happy about the way he treated me and my fiance. and that's right. what this comes down to. This is personal. Right. Mm -hmm. and, and the thing is, him hitting so hard with that lariat, I started calling him Masty Transit. Because he's like getting hit by a bus. Yeah. <laughs> Brandon, please sign me, Grim. I have amateur wrestling background. This is pro wrestling, Brandon. Yeah, brother. I don't know if you could handle the pro wrestling. Because amateur wrestling is different. There's a lot of different rules and stuff. There's no rules here. Can you handle a crutch to the face? I don't know. <laughs> okay, so will Grimmamania be a live stream? Luke wants to know. As you know, we like uploading videos to YouTube and premiering them live so you guys can watch along as it happens. And we like seeing the comments as they happen. I like seeing you guys react to things as they happen. That's always exciting to me, right? Oh, yeah. So sure. we're going to upload it like that. I don't know if it'll necessarily be live because it's, it's kind of hard to get everybody together at a right time. But, you know, I mean, if you think about it this way, yeah, maybe it's not you watching live, what's live. live happening. Yes, but... Like he said, he's live reacting with you. He's watching with you. You're basically doing a watch-a-thon watch with, with the Grimster to get to even talk or interact with Grim while you're watching the product. He couldn't do that if he was filming it live. Right. He'd exactly. have to focus on what's happening in the show. He'd have to focus on this and that. Instead, now he could focus on how you're feeling about it and see, hey, you know what? This guy likes this or doesn't like this. Maybe at next Grim Mania or next show, we're going to try this, that, whatever, and he could focus more on you guys. Wouldn't you want that? Right. Do you guys enjoy when the videos go up live or do you prefer prefer them to just be uploads that you can fast forward and skip through whenever. I mean, obviously you can do that once the live stream ends, mm -hmm. but I feel like watching live, there's a specialness to it. Why is in the chat if you enjoy watching the GTS videos live? Ends in the chat if you want me to just upload them like normal. <laughs> he said the quality's better after. Does the live stream quality come through crappy? I've never I, I, that. But that might depend on um, so like the individual's... Uh, Wi-Fi. Right, your wife, right. And, yes. And See, they like watching them live. We're getting a lot of Ys in the chat right now. I haven't seen any ends. There's one. Steve don't like it. Sorry, Steve. Oh. Sorry, Jay. I was like, oh my God, Jay, I think. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, so I want your guys' opinion on the main event of Grimmamania. I want your guys' opinion on Peter Kid as the champ. Okay? Are you guys enjoying Peter Kid as the champ? Or would you prefer it to be Grim? So put P in the chat if you're enjoying P to Kid as the champ. Put G in the chat if you'd rather Grim be the champ. Put E if you'd rather Eris be the champ. And put V if you'd rather Vince Series take the title. And put K's if you want Kurt Ball. <laughs> <laughs> Seeing a lot of G's. Seeing a lot of G's, a couple of P's. I saw an M. That's an M. That's for Masty. No, we don't want that. He's not getting the title. But see, it's all Jesus. You're, you're, see, you're sitting here watching it live with me, and you see my audience responding to me. They want to see me win the belt. Yeah. Right? There's also a lot of P's. A lot of P's for P to kid. Yep, I saw a V in there. There's a V for Vince, but only one V for Vince. Mm -hmm. You know why? Because Vince is a piece of garbage, and nobody likes that big ball, no bicep bitch. I'm sorry. Big bicep, no ball bitch. Yeah. I was about to say, I think he, uh, I backed, he I, switched that one up. All right, listen. <laughs> this is a very serious thing. I have a little bit of dyslexia, like for real. And I say things backwards all the time. I write things backwards. 
I can't believe how many tweets that I reread them back like an hour later. And I'm like, God, I put words backwards, the wrong, complete wrong word. I'm sorry. It's a disability that I have. I work really hard to overcome it. Sometimes I screw up. That's okay. There's sorry. other professional wrestlers, actually. Uh, George the Animal Steel had dyslexia. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. And, and it's like, I have it, but it's, it's hampered me in my schoolwork. It's hampered me in, like, business and success. But I can punch people in the face because you don't need to, you know, that's not messing up the words. Yeah. That's just pow. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but when I try to talk, yeah, sometimes I get things backwards. I do it all the time. Okay. So... I heard you all loud and clear about Grimm and Pete the Kid and whatever, and you all want to see the Grimster win. That's why they call me the People's Champ. Did you know that, Cheney? The People's Champ. Yeah, the like, original. you know, the, the Rock is back, you know, and of course everybody's like, oh, the Rock's the People's Champ, but the Rock ain't getting no titles anytime soon. What about Dallas Page? Is he the People's Champ? He was the People's Champ. Right. Yeah. He was the People's Champ of WCW. Mm -hmm. The Rock was the People's Champ of WWE. And I'm the People's Champ of GTS. That's right. I'm the champ for you guys, and that's why I'm here for the people. I'm the guy making the connections every day. Do you see PETA Kid here live streaming with you guys, connecting with his audience? No. You know what PETA Kid's doing? He's at home doing nothing. Playing WWE 2K. Yeah, playing video games, smelling his own ass, and getting nothing done but trying to discredit me and take everything from me. It probably takes a lot of flexibility to do something like that. Probably. Well, what I mean smelling his ass is he's, you know, he's farting and then sitting in his own farts. Like in the blanket? Yeah. That's, uh, like that's you're nasty. Dutch ovening yourself? That's pretty nasty. Why would he do that? <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Do we want Vlad at Grimmamania? V's in the chat if we want Vlad. And then who's going to who's gonna fight him? Who do you think would fight him? We need a rematch with Soda Pop Smith. <laughs> he did fight Soda Pop Smith at yeah, Grimmamania, he right? Did. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. We need a rematch. Yeah, I think he like the separated bees. his shoulder or something like that, though. He like killed. <laughs> Vlad killed he everybody. Killed, he killed a lot of you. Right, I so remember listen. when he he uh, belly to belly suplexed me over the top rope in the uh, Grim or the what's it called Regal Rumble one time. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we hear you loud and clear. Y'all want Vlad at Grimmania, but now put in the chat, who's he gonna face? NJ Knight. Mm -hmm. Stop! Stop giving them ideas. <laughs> He'll die. Do you guys want NJ Knight No versus Vlad? Yo, that please. could be the best match Dude, ever. Please, that I yes, please, please. Why right. is in the chat? Whatever blue knights in the chat? Whatever you got to do, man. Please. All right, and, and not only that, but listen. Uh, not that that wouldn't be entertaining, because it would be. Man, the man just said something. <laughs> Peter Kid hasn't showed up in over a year. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Well, here's the real thing about Vlad, right? And NJ Knight. We all know which way that would go. Vlad's gonna kill him. Yeah. I mean, sure, it'd be entertaining, but Vlad's gonna kill him. That's the funny part. That's the best part of it. But, like, Vlad has a streak. He's like the Undertaker at this yeah. point. Like, who's gonna take him down? I wanna see Vlad lose. No offense. I wanna see Vlad lose. I wanna see somebody come in who could take him down. Then we definitely can't have NJ Knight. In right. Match. Yeah. We're out of tombstone, sweetie. <laughs> Out of tombstones. Are behind in the woods. So who could I mean, face him? Goldcock? Slenderman used to give him a run for his money. Slender? But we've seen all those matches already. Yeah, yeah, true, true, true. So I'm going to issue this. I'm going to put this out there right now. To all the GTS stars who aren't regulars, to all the GTS stars who aren't booked at Grimmamania, to all the GTS stars who want a spot at Grimmamania, pull up. This week, I want you to show up and announce your intentions that you want Vlad. I want to see who's got balls. I want to see who's got the ruthless aggression. Why don't we just do a gauntlet? A Vlad gauntlet? Yeah, Vlad, Vlad gauntlet. versus everyone. We'll throw NJ Knight in there. <laughs> he just wants NJ Knight dead. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe Lucha La Raza can return. Yo, I would love to see Lucha La Raza return. Yeah. Could you imagine? I haven't seen him here in a while. Well, didn't he die? I thought he died. I think he got away. Did he? I think so. I don't know if he got murdered. He got away. Man the man. Vlad versus Grey Wolf. We've never seen Vlad versus Grey Wolf, right? I don't think so. That would be pretty interesting. Let's get Grey Wolf on the line. Vlad versus Rhett Titus. Yo, that'd be wild. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That'd be really good. Vlad Rhett versus... Titus hasn't been here in a while. Right? Rhett Titus moved. Oh, yeah? Yeah. He used to live here in New Jersey. He used to live close. That's why he was available for bookings all the time. We got... We just got a... Grim, speaking of WWE, guess who's back on the WWE roster? Brock is back. Is he really? Is he? Well, Brock kind of got canceled with the whole Vince McMahon thing. 
But like, listen, I'm not, I'm not trying to talk out of turn because I don't really know all the details. I don't know Brock's level of involvement. Some people are like, it wasn't that big a deal and he didn't really do anything. And other people are like, oh, he's gross and he should never be around. I don't know. I didn't look into it to even have an opinion. So I'm not saying anything either way. What I do know is Brock as a wrestler on TV was always fun and entertaining. I also hate when guys get erased from history just because they were crappy. Like, okay, he was crap. Just get rid of him. But he still did things. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. In in WWE 2K, they blur Vince McMahon's face. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, that's pretty like, cool. Like, like, how do you just... Like, oh, yeah, he's a piece of garbage. Like, he did awful things, and he's under charges. But at the same time, it's weird to just blur the dude. <laughs> I don't they're know. probably just covering themselves for yeah. this year. Probably next year, the year after, they're not going to blur his face anymore. It's... Right, that's what I'm saying. If Brock's already re-added to the roster and stuff. Yeah. I, I heard something, I'm not sure if it's true, that he was only available in the showcase mode, but you couldn't actually unlock him as a character, which, in my opinion, that like, that sounds like... We already built the showcase mode. We don't want to change this. We're going to keep him in there, but you yeah. can't play as him. <laughs> so we're being, like, lazy. That's what it sounds like to me. Right. But I don't know. Bring back Sinister. Who who remembers Sinister? Oh, yeah, I, me neither. I definitely, I definitely remember Sinister. <laughs> yeah? Yeah, I had... Well, I had two matches with Sinister. Yeah, none, none of them were here. Okay. But, uh, but yeah, but if... Uh, I feel like he always wanted to wrestle me in a cage match here. That's what he yeah. wanted. He, he wants to kill me. I like Sinister. He's a cool character, but like he lives, I think, like four states away. So it's yeah. a lot for him to come here. And and it's one of those things where he was really only at GTS for a cup of coffee. Yeah. But hey, imagine he came back to face Vlad. He could pull up Vlad versus Sinister. Yeah. Vlad versus Nickel Wise. Vlad versus Isaac Sykes. No. <laughs> what about Vlad vs. Isaac Scythe? Oh, God, Nickel Wise. Oh, Super Sean. Who remembers Super Sean? What's up? Hey, Graham, Tina, and Tony. Love you guys and keep it up. I wish I could be a special referee for Grimmamania. Thanks, hey, Sean. Thank you. Hey, Super Sean. Email me, Grimm's Toy Show at Hotmail, or DM me on Twitter. My DMs are open, at Grimm's Toy Show. Super Sean drops a lot of Super Chats. And what we do here is we allow sponsorships. You know, Jake the Flame, he sends us basically our rent money for the month. And then he says, and this is the match I want to see. He puts his money where his mouth is. So many people in the chat are like, I want to see this. I want to see that. If you want to see it, and it's something that, like, I can't necessarily just do. But if I had money, I could. If you want to help us out with that, it'd be phenomenal. So sponsorship packages are available. You could email me, or you could slide in my DMs on Twitter, and we'll talk about it. Some, somebody might slide in and be like, yo, I'll pay $1,000 to see Isaac Scythe versus Vlad. <laughs> or NJ Knight. And I'll book you, you I think you're uh, like I'm gonna get a secret text later. It's gonna be like Grim, here's a hundred dollars. I wanna see NJ Knight versus Vlad. And it's gonna be cheating. <laughs> so well this is the thing. Our our booking packages, my sponsor packages, start at three hundred. And that and why? That's so GTS can get paid mm -hmm. and the wrestlers can get paid. And this is great opportunities for you guys. Like, I feel like you and Rad Dad and whoever else is on GTS, all of the stars, you guys should be like, hey, you guys want to book me at GTS in a match versus your choice. Like, that's available. Contact Grim. Tell me who you want in the face. I get paid. GTS gets paid. My opponent gets paid. And you get your dream match. You know? And I think that's awesome. Yeah, well, in that case, put down in the comments below who you would want to see Tony Cheney face in a dream match. Yeah. Who would, who's that person that would face Tony Cheney in a dream match? If I had to pick a Tony Cheney dream match. Roman Great. Without a question. Stop. <laughs> we got to put his ass away first. <laughs> I did a good job of not showing his ass with the camera. <laughs> I mean, well, you couldn't do that at the crowd. When you were there, you saw it. And it was there, and it, it was, was just, out, and it was bad. The whole crowd was just sitting there going, oh, God. Oh, oh God. Man, his whole butt's out. should have plugged it with a grape. <laughs> Jeez. Roman <laughs> 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 Grape. Bring back Matt Castle. Oh, man. Caitlin Hicks, our number one fan. What's up, Caitlin? Appreciate you. Our Truth. We can't book Our Truth. Tony Cheney versus Our yeah. Truth. Now, Hitman Jones, now that's someone that fell off the face of the planet. Someone just brought up Hitman Jones. Where's he been? I don't know. I don't know where he's been. I wish him well. A lot of people want Vlad versus Grey Wolf. Grey Wolf is having trouble traveling into New Jersey, from what I understand. Eric Harwood, you should book Vlad versus Mikey Anarchy at Grimmamania. 
That'd be mm-hmm. badass. That would be pretty wild. Mm-hmm. But unfortunately, Mikey Anarchy's already booked. Tony. Both, both of those guys can take a beating. I'll say that much. Yeah, they can. Both of those guys. Can Super take Sean beating. said Tony Cheney versus Jay the Key. That has happened before, and it can happen again. Yeah, you never know. We started <laughs> off uh, the Regal Rumble this year, so. Yeah. 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 Uh, right. Well, I, 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 Jay the Key Evans. I would say that would be like probably one of my dream matches because you and you and Jay, you guys are like similar stature, similar size, similar age. You guys both have that hunger. Like, I oh, could yeah. see either one of you honestly making it to television if you guys, you know, really fucking put in that. You guys can make it. I know oh, you yeah. can. So Thank it's you. like, I would I love to see it. that. That's yeah, a dream match yeah. for me. <laughs> I remember when we wrestled a Sucker Slam. That was a great match. I love wrestling him a Sucker Slam. He, uh, Canadian destroyed me and, uh, I remember. Speared me through a table. <laughs> <laughs> now, like, NJ Knight, no. I want to see him versus George Clowney. George who? George Clowney. Who's you guys that? know who George Clowney is? Probably not. <laughs> Who's that? All right. Well, there's a new clown on GTS. Oh, you know, okay. someone said on Twitter, someone said earlier, well, how do you, how do you get views up on GTS? Clowns. It's clowns. The clowns right. equal views. And then they say, well, clowns are so 2016. Billy Wait. Moxley. <laughs> like, I, I forgot he existed. <laughs> Billy Moxley, man. Clowns, for some reason, on this channel always work. <laughs> Evil, horror clowns. Funny, happy clowns. Clowns work. Yeah. You, want, you want evidence of that? I mean, look, look at, at my news. brother. Yeah, look at my brother. They love him. <laughs> <laughs> they love clowns. No. Sorry, Duflo. <laughs> but uh, oh, George Clowney's going to be a hit. And in the next episode, you're going to see a lot of George Clowney because we already filmed it. We filmed it last night. So there's going to be a lot of George Clowney in the next episode, and I think you're going to love it. You guys are going to love it. I see George Clowney versus Billy Moxley. (laughs) Billy Mickey. NJ Knight. Yeah, NJ Knight versus George Clowney is going to be in the next episode of GTS. It's going to be amazing, and I'm excited for you all to see it. It would be cool if we can get all of the clowns of GTS Pass to just do one big rumble or something like that. I want to Battle Royal... Of all the clown, Nickel Wise, you know, uh, who else? Is like, uh, oh, geez. Uh, well, not the one guy. Well, who's the one guy with the blue hair? I don't even think we can talk about <laughs> People yeah, have been brainwashed into guy. thinking that clowns are scary, so naturally enjoying clowns getting beat up. There who you go. else? Who else? Uh, who else was on the show? Who, what, what other clowns were on the show? We've had yeah. lots of clowns. George Clowney. Who's the big one? What was his name? I forget. <sighs> there, first of all, there was the clowns from 2016, but I don't even know if they had names. Yeah. They were just the clowns. We should do, can we get fans to make a clown compilation video? Ooh. We, can someone do yeah. that? Okay, everybody That'll wants Killjoy, great. the blue hair clown. Here's the problem with that asshole. That's what I just mentioned. Yeah. yeah, here's the problem with that asshole. I thought he was back. All of a sudden, there was like weird blue clown things happening. And I thought he was back. And then all of a sudden, he's like, it ain't me, bitch. He's like, I got rid of that clown because... The mask got destroyed, and I had problems, and stop talking about me, and you can't bring me up. And he's like, I'm going to sue you if you mention me again. First of all, you can't. It's like, that's like Batista saying, WWE, you can't mention me anymore, when you were literally a character on their show. Like, yeah. Like, no, I can bring you up as much as I want. I could also show the footage from my own videos as much as I want. So, <laughs> but, but. Tito the Clown. I, right, I thought it was him, and apparently it wasn't. So then who was it? That's the scary part. So who was using Tito? So the ghost. The ghost maybe was using Tito, or uh, Tito, uh, Killjoy. Killjoy stuff to screw with me. That's scary. And Because that's kind of where it started. That's terrifying. To think about, absolutely. Killjoy won't be back. Yeah, Ellsworth was a clown. Yes, Tito Ellsworth the clown. Was a clown. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, we, we can have a clown. clown we got to get Clown Ellsworth, uh, Tito, no Killjoy, uh, Nickel Wise, KBA. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we call it the Spirit Halloween Regal Rumble. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe they can sponsor it. Yeah. yeah. We, we can, to avoid copyright or any issues, the, the Spirit of Halloween. Yes. Regal Rumble. The Spirit of Halloween. Bro, one of the funniest things this man's ever done. Was when I went to Spirit Halloween with him, and he just looked up at the wall of masks and goes, "This is like the GTS Hall of Fame." <laughs> <laughs> I still laugh about that every time I walk in there. It is though. <laughs> Literally. It is. <laughs> Literally. 
All right, guys, final thoughts. Let me know your final thoughts so we can address them before we got to get out of here. MJF the clown. <laughs> MJF was a clown on my show. Yep. Okay, MJF, the heavyweight champ of AEW. Y'all remember MJF. Everybody loves MJF. He's one of the biggest rising stars in the industry. Is he still a champ? No, no, no. no not no, anymore. Is, yeah. Right, but he was a clown on my show. <laughs> Grim, how'd you book MJF? Put him in a clown costume. <laughs> Tony Chini should face the Shadow Demon. Who is that? Uh, Zalgo, the Shadow Demon. That costume right over there. <laughs> the black and white one. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, I remember that. All right, so... Yeah, he's bell fed, Zalgo. <gasps> Zalgo <laughs> is bell fed. So is Slender Man, really. Say, count? <laughs> yeah, well, Jungle Jim pulled a stunt the other night. Okay. We had to defend the trio's titles, bell fed. Yeah. Me, mm -hmm. Jungle Jim, and Doohop. But we hate Jungle Jim, and we didn't want a team with him. Mm -hmm. So we free birded it and had Tanner Wilson on our team. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. And we fought, we had to fight Monsters Island, right? We got an email from Tanner Wilson, who's our general manager. Yeah. This is weird. All of a sudden, we're fighting Zalgo. George Clowney and the Green Oracle, right? What happened to the old roster? Black Manta wants to know. We'll talk about that in a second. And and then all of a sudden, the Zalgo character pins Doohop out of nowhere with the Cataclysm, which is a white noise. Yeah. And I'm like, wait, that's Jungle Jim's move. And he pins Doohop one, two, three, and then, yeah, he unmasked it. It was Jungle Jim. So Jungle Jim then won the trios titles with two other guys in masks, and who were they? Mikey Anarchy. And Jimmy Controversy. But then Mikey Anarchy said it wasn't Mikey Anarchy. I don't know. I thought it was George Clowney. Whatever. All right, so what happened to the old roster? Well, a lot of them grew up. A lot of them moved away. A lot of them went to television. MJF, Platinum Max, Chris Statlander, uh, Jordan Oliver, Casey Navarro. What? Throw on LM MLW. <laughs> yeah. What? <laughs> we got Pete Corvus. What? Tommy Salami. What? Joe Bonifer. What? Joe Wolf. What? Kurt Ball. What? Wampus. What? KBA. What? Matthias Glass. What? Snowcock. What? Jeff McTesticles. What? Matt Castle. What? We can go on all day. Joey Angelo. What's what? in the chat? Put what's in the chat if you want Kurt Ball to return. <laughs> All right, so no joke. This really happened that I'm putting them on blast because I give no fucks. <laughs> I wonder if I could just even show the text. Oh, man. The tea is coming. The tea is coming the out, the real tea. The tea is coming hard. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah, here it is. <laughs> here it is. I'm going to show it. I'm showing it because I give no fucks. Uh, it's a text from my brother. If you can't read it, it says, So I was on Snapchat. I sent out a tweet, a snap, and Bale texts me in reply because uh, Duhop was hanging out with Shamar. Mm. And Bale replied and said, I miss hanging out with all you guys. <laughs> so Bale said to Duhop, I miss hanging out with you guys. Well, there's a big shot because we're fun as hell to hang out with. That's why we got 200 or 466 people here watching because we're fun as hell to hang out with. And guess what, Bale, you missed out because you had to be a dick. Here's a person, all I tried to do was give him love, an opportunity. And what did he do? He put a knife in my back. So what did I reply? I hate him. <laughs> <laughs> That's a shoot. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you, Ethan, for liking every video I've ever made. That's amazing. I appreciate the hell out of you. If you guys could go like every video I've ever made, I would appreciate that. If you guys could go check out our last episode. It's me with Jungle Jim in the thumbnail, and I'm pulling on his throat I with the crutch. The I'm mowing the lawn. Shot I'm going to mow cart. his face. <laughs> and you know why it was me and Jungle Jim? Because Peter Kid wasn't there, Eris wasn't there, Vince wasn't there, Doohop wasn't there. So me and Jungle Jim, our feud and our heat, we're just going right at each other. Because that's what it is. He's feuding with my brother. He wants the title that I'm challenging for. So, of course, naturally, we had to screw with each other. Yeah. And that's what we did. If you guys go check that out in our last video, I'd really appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for being here. Joey Angelo is not coming back. He stole from this house. The one we're sitting in right now, he stole something out of this house. Can never allow him back. And, it, that, and not only me saying that, but that's Memphis saying that. Memphis says, I don't want him in my house. He stole. How could you ever have somebody back in the house if they steal? Yeah, well, Memphis owns a house. All on the ring camera. What's that?
All on the ring camera. You got the whole thing caught on the cameras because, yeah, we have cameras, which that's funny to me that Brothers Half Brain were so stupid to realize, like, did you not think we had cameras everywhere on GTS property? Like, how do you not realize that? How are you too stupid? So, so here's the crazy thing. You know how I film the Johnny Mac show for Johnny Mac? Yes. And we did film yeah, it here. I've been on the Johnny Mac show a few times. Right, right, right. Yeah. Well, Joey Angelo's booked on the next Johnny Mac, right? But he's not allowed here. So, so Johnny Mac's like, well, what could we do? And I said, well, listen, I'm a creative genius. I'm going to come up with something. Parking lot brawl. Remember like when um, Lucha La Raza fought Joey Angelo at the Taco Bell parking lot? So I said, how about a parking lot brawl? So book Joey Angelo. I'll film it. I don't care. I can be around the guy. I don't hate his guts or anything. It's just can't have him here. Yeah. So I'll film him. Just not here. There you go. So, you know, a technical comeback, technical not. You know, yeah. it's, it's, so, it's there. So it's Joey there. Angelo can compete, just not here. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? We were talking about that idea before we went live. That yeah. might be something to look into. That'd be amazing. So, guys, if you want to see that, yeah, yeah. Johnny Mack is the guy who books the backyard events. Uh, the This Federation Championship that I held at one point. You guys remember. <laughs> Bring back El Jefe Rojo. The, uh, the good old the, the days. Lucha Warehouse Party was <laughs> Lucha the Lucha Warehouse day. Party. Oh, my God. Best stuff, <laughs> man. The Lucha Warehouse Party. Hell, yeah. All right, guys. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please go back and check out our previous video. I thank you guys. Groomania is going to be amazing. We're, we're putting a lot of hard work into it, and we're going to have all the biggest stars, major surprises, and Vlad versus NJ Knight know. <laughs> and if you're not down with that... We got three words for you. Eat it. Yeah. How do I shut this off? Right here. End. We're going to end. Bye, everybody.